Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at arc lengths. Um, I'm also going to be talking about um, how we came up with um, the pi over 180 and 180 over pi in my previous video for doing conversion between degrees and radians. Okay, so first off, the idea of what a one what one radian is. So the the idea is that when you have one radian, it's the angle that's formed in a sector. Like so, this thing is a sector where the arc length. When we say arc length, I'm actually talking about this thing here, right? That's the arc length. When the arc length is the same as the radius, so we're talking about this as the radius, right? So we've got two things that are radius, okay? So I'm going to put that as little r. <clears throat> when the arc length, so that's the green line here. When the green line is the same as the blue blue line, the angle that's produced is known as one radian. Okay, that's the idea. So, I mean, kind of think of like a very weird, I wouldn't really call it an equilateral triangle, but the idea is that the, this distance is the same as this distance and the same as this distance. But the angle itself is one radian. Now, if you had watched the previous videos, you would know that one radian is approximately... 57.3 degrees or 180 degrees divided by pi. All right, so my job is to try and show you guys how I got that 180 over pi, but at the same time teaching you a few questions about arc length. Okay, so let's go to the next diagram. And All right, guys, so one thing that you need to know is um, we can actually find the arc length which is defined by s and it, which is actually radius times uh, theta. Now theta is supposed to be this little angle here between here to there and s is the distance from there to there that's the arc length and of course the radius you have here. Okay now, what I want to prove is, I want to prove that 200, two, uh, 360 degrees equals pi, equals 2 pi, sorry. And the way I'm going to do it is, I'm going to look at this blue line right here, all right, that I've drawn. Say if I want to work out an arc length of the entire circle. So I'm going to go around the whole way and come back here. All right. So... And I'm going to call this new angle, I'm going to call it, uh, let's see, I'm going to call it, not theta, let's call it something else. God, I'm struggling for letters. Let's call it alpha. Alpha is the angle that's actually starting from the blue line and going all the way to 360 and coming back. So I'm looking for the arc length if I go the full circle. Now, what you guys know is you already know that it's the same as the circumference. So we can say... That circumference, when we already know what the formula for circumference is, it's 2 pi r. So if I was to take for alpha and I want to work out the arc length, then I'm going basically like this all the way around back here, and that's the circumference. So using my arc length formula, because arc length can be written as s is equal to r times theta, now, I'm looking at the full blue circle, so for that, I can replace that with 2 pi r equals r. r hasn't changed, but the angle has changed. Angle is alpha, because <clears throat> I said I want to go the full, full way, right? Now, if I think of alpha in degrees, alpha is actually going the whole way around, which is 360 degrees. So what I could do here is I can write 2 pi r equals 360 uh, r times 360 degrees. Which means I can cancel out the two r's and I can have 2 pi radians equals 360 degrees because my two r's cancel out. And I guess this is what I wanted to show you guys. Once I get here... If I rearrange this, I can I can do it both ways. I can say that one radian equals 360 divided by two pi, which is 180 over pi, or one degree equals 
2 pi over 360 or simplifying it to as pi over 180. So that's where you get that pi over 180 and 180 over pi from. Okay, so let's do a few questions and um, see if we can get the hang of arc length. Oh, that was my all right, guys, so the first question, we're going to find the arc length for this particular uh, one here. Uh, I'm going to put this as 1.1 radians, and it's going to have a radius of 5. So if we're going to find the arc length, we put this as S equals to R theta. R is 5 times 1.1, and we're going to get 5.5 as the arc length. So that's 5.5 is this thing here. Okay. Next example, going to make this uh, two radians, and we're going to make this seven. So if we have s equals to r theta, then the radius is seven multiplied by two radians, and I'm going to get 14 units, which is my arc length. Okay, next example. This time I want us to find arc length when angle is given in degrees. All right, so let's say this is still five. But this is 60 degrees. So, and I think this is what I wanted to show you guys earlier. So we have to convert it to radians before we, um, we can actually find the arc length. So I'm going to still use the same formula. So I'm going to use S equals R times theta. R is 5. Theta needs to be in radians. So I'm going to multiply by 60 degrees and I'm going to multiply it by pi over 180. Okay, because that pi over 180, this, whatever that I'm doing inside the bracket here, is going to convert the degree to radians. So then what I have is 5 pi over 3. Now I could leave the answer as that as my arc length, but if I was to calculate it, it is 5.24, the arc length here. All right, one more example. Let's make this 150 degrees and 6. So once again, I have to convert it, the angle to radians. So I'm going to have 6 multiplied by 150. And of course, to convert to radians, I need to multiply by pi over 180. So I'm going to get this as 5 pi, or I could re- I mean, expand this out and I get, well, not expand, 5 times pi, I get 15.707 as my arc length. Okay, next examples. So in this case, I want to find the perimeter of this particular shape. So let's say this is like uh, 1.2 radians. We're going to put this 5. As our radius now we know the other side of the radius which is a B is also going to be 5 we need to find the arc length so s is equal to r theta so we have 5 times 1.2 which equals to 6 so that's 6 therefore we can say that perimeter equals 5 plus 5 plus 6 which is 16 units and the same way if I was to do another problem and I call this uh, 2.1 radians let's make this 3 so this would be 3 so we find the arc length first so we have 3 times 2.1 which is 6.3 units and that's 6.3 and of course our perimeter is going to be the sum of all sides which is 3 plus 3 plus 6.3 and we get 12.3 units Okay, next series of questions. So in this one, we're asked to find the radius given arc length. All right, so let's say this is 1.2 radians and the arc length is 6. Then all it is is S equals R theta. And it's the same formula, guys, that we use, just rearranging it. So we got 6 equals R times 1.2 which means R is equal to 6 divided by 1.2, and the radius is going to be 5 units. That's what it is. Okay, another quick example. We have 10, and we have 
2.5 radians. Then we have S equals to R theta. So 10 equals radius times 2.5, which means radius is equal to 10 over 2.5. And in this case, radius is equal to four units. Cool. So that's basic idea of arc length here, folks. Um, hopefully the, the proof that I showed try to make uh, it made some sense to you. If not, just um, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. And um, as I always said, um, if you have any other further questions on how to do arc length or um, changing from degrees to radians and back foot, backwards, uh, pop it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Okay, thanks for watching guys.